And you said this, you started it a year or two ago? Or when was the last time it ran? This morning. This morning? That's what I'm telling you. Let's hear it run. Morning, Sean P. Morning, sir. Are you rested? I am well rested. This guy never sleeps. I slept three days. Outstanding. So you know what we're doing? What are we doing? We're going to the middle of nowhere again. But this time it's in Colorado, La Junta. I've never heard of this. I haven't either. But I looked it up and you looked it up. It's literally in the middle of nowhere. It is in the middle of nowhere. You can't fly there, you can't helicopter there, and you can't take a boat. So what are we doing? Diesel therapy. <laughs> I hope that diesel therapy. <laughs> so normally a uh, 12 or 1300 mile run we'll do it in one day. Guess what? We're doing we're a two? slow roll this. We're doing two, two days. days. Yes. Oh, sweet. Man. We're going to take our time. We're going to look for the world's biggest ball of twine, the oh. biggest piece of beef jerky. And we're going to stop in Amarillo and have the world's biggest steak and just do fun things, Sean. Oh. Just enjoy life. So Cadillac Ranch, too? If you want to. Absolutely. It's possible. So we are not in a hurry. But why are we doing this? Why? Uh, I thought we were just having fun. We're on vacation. This is going to be like a coffee walk vacation. Most of the time, or actually all of the time, we're on major time constraints on coffee walk. As you can see now, there's no time constraint on this lead. It's going to take forever. So we're doing what we normally do in one day and two days. Why? Because it's crazy hot outside. It is. And at Kelsey's suggestion, she's like, Dad, why don't you guys just slow your roll? And thank you, you Kelsey. Time. Yeah, so thank you, Kelsey. <laughs> so, but I digress. Okay. We're going to go rescue a 61, 356, 1600 Super Coupe. What's cool about it. It's a very early outlaw style build that the guy vintage raced 40 years ago. So this is not a field car? It is not. It's a nice garage find with a race motor in the car, an extra motor, great history, lots of race history, and an outlaw before there were outlaws. So grab your cup of joy, let's go! So we're in Wichita Falls, Texas at the world's littlest skyscraper. I don't know, it's not the world's smallest, it's the world's littlest. Pretty cool, huh? We haven't found the world's biggest ball of twine yet, but we're searching for it. So we're now in the corner of Burke Burnett and Nowhere at the pig stand in Wichita Falls. We got a bunch of antique cars sitting outside, caged in with a bunch of pigs. Kind of weird. Is that not the weirdest mannequin you've ever seen? Uh, I've seen some pretty freaky ones. <laughs> Is this kind of strange on the corner of a street in a town? In that bizarre category. So this is going to fall into the Stranger Things Happen. So we're at the Big Texas Steak Ranch, home with a 72 ounce steak. You think we can eat that? We're going to try, right? Let's go. Holy moly rock and roll. Get a chainsaw. <laughs> Rescue an Outlaw 356 Porsche. Dude, I am so ready. Let's go do it. All right. 
We're here in La Junta, Colorado. I believe this gentleman has owned this car for 40 years. Brought back from where the hell we got yeah. it from that water bucket okay. up with recently. Well, I can get the trailer back there. Yeah, that's kind of neat, isn't it? Uh -huh. so gonna have to get it there. I was like, I don't know how we're going to get it out that. Good morning. Good morning. How are you, ma'am? I'm good, thank you. I'm Dennis Collins. Hi. Nice to meet you. You also. This is Sean, Sean Pettiford. Hi. And this is Zach Gorgas on the camera. Hello, sir. How are you? <laughs> Great, how are you? There she is. All right. Let me go find some. Okay. Uh, wicked cool. So when's the last time this ran? Uh, I think you said the last time it ran was in 2005. It looks like it almost run. Like it's not going to take much. It's got a fresh battery in it. Good morning, sir. Morning. How are you? Doing well. How are you doing, sir? Great. Dennis Collins. Dennis, ah, I recognize you. Nice I to meet you. Watch your YouTube's. This is Sean Pettiford. Oh, hi, Sean. Good nice seeing you. Zach on the camera. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. So you've owned this since '82. '82, yeah. Almost 40 years. 40 years. Wow. Yeah. Well, I read a lot of the stuff that you said you've done to it. it was really cool. So the motor's a 912. You started with a 912 case. Yeah. No, no, no. Okay. This case is the original uh, B motor. Okay. Uh, everything on that engine is original except for the carburetors. Okay. I threw the Zenith carburetors away. Okay. All right. <laughs> so it has it has uh, the Solex. All right. Uh, P P two is that what it is? I don't remember exactly. No, that's the race engine. Okay. So the, did the race engine? Is this a nine twelve case? This is a nine twelve case. Okay. Yes. Got it. So it's uh, it's as, it, for for 2000. That was the the went the last time I went through the motor was in 2000. Okay. So since that time, maybe 50 hours. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. So this, the compression was still good when it came out. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was running 11 to one. I had run it at 12 to one. Okay, you could, and then you put you got C brakes on the front. Disc well, brakes on the all front? The way, all, all the way, way around. around. Yeah, seat brakes all the way around, yeah. 15 inch 911 wheels? Yes. That's how you got the camber yep. set with the track. And the uh, stir mats, camber compensator in the back. Okay. So that keeps the car from lifting. Okay. So. Um, and you you and you did vintage race this car? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So the seats are aftermarket race seats. I don't remember what kind they are. I got from a guy named Norm Martin who was racing 911s at the time. And the last time this car actually ran was in the 2005 range? Yeah, on the okay. track. Yeah. On the track, okay. Yeah, that's the last time we started it a little while ago. Yeah, that's why I was saying. I bet you this thing will fire up. Oh, right away. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that would be great if, it's, if we can get it running easily. Oh, the roll bar. <laughs> the roll bar came out of a 53A coupe that was run in the Panamericana. Okay. I went, this is in 1990. I went down as a mechanic for this. He was a rich guy. Anyway. So when he, when he recivilized the car, he gave me the roll bar. Okay. So. But these cars are, you know, the roll bar is actually kind of superfluous. Because these things do really well on a rollover. Yeah, they, they do. do. The gas tank is clear up out of the collision path. That's why I didn't put a fuel cell in. Um, and the transmission, what's been done to the transmission? Yeah, it's uh, it's a low two first gear. Okay. A high two second gear. I think a normal third and a normal fourth. Okay. So it's close ratio. Um, 
and that race motor will spin to 8,000. 8,000 on that nitro yeah. motor, wow. wow. Well, the valves are double sprung, so they close instantly. And it's, uh, the, the cam and the crank are both billet, so they won't break. The rods, connecting rods are uh, also forged. So this is the actual numbers matching motor to this car? I think so. I okay. don't, the, the only thing I have that, that in the way of documentation is the little thing that was in the, uh, in the panel in front of this door, which is just in the, inside the garage. Okay. So basically all it has is just the, is just the body number. Solid, it's not rusty. Yeah, there's a little bit of damage to the floor pan. Uh, it's not bad. The damage in terms of body work, um, I'll show you where that's at. This floor, front quarter from about here forward was replaced. Okay. And a friend of mine who was racing it uh, allowed the hood to fly up and so, and so the, this cowl is creased. Okay. And then the last time I raced it, was a guy that was on the track decided he was going to put a targa on my rear end. So there's a little bit of damp damage back here. And I never I never attempted to pound it out. That's not bad. Oh, that's not. That's yeah, we can fix that. One, two, three hours work. PD, so, no, they're probably going to go PDR. And the original color of the car was red? I don't know. Uh, I think it was... I was just assuming that the bumpers were red. Well, original color, I think, was this off. It's an off color. Um, where did I put those? Oh, I think they're in the car. The tail is? Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of a funky uh, dark maroon. Like this one? Like this color? Yes. Well. No, no, that's that that's, was. Are they in there? There it is. If you grab one of those. Okay. And you can idea what the original color was. Okay, Like a deep maroon or something. Yeah, it's a it's a it's an oddball color. I don't think I've ever seen one of these in that color. You know, they're either gray, black, or red. Alright. Has a kill switch. Those are E type brake reservoirs, 911 uh, uh, master. Okay. Original ZF steering gearbox. And you said this, you started it a, a year or two ago? Or when was the last time it ran? This morning. This morning? That's what I'm telling you. Let's hear it run. <laughs> That's a big surprise. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I didn't realize it ran. I thought we, it was just dead in the water. Oh, throw that switch straight forward. So I do know what I'm talking about. Look at that. So I'll let the carburetors are filled. <laughs> I love it. Nice set of bumpers. That is cool.
Now we have to figure out how to get this motor from here, inside the trailer, through that gravel. I don't have a solid plan yet, but we're gonna figure it out. definitely help. I think uh, so if we put the motor on it on the four wheels and just pick it up so slightly yeah and roll it up so put it down like this yeah there you go perfect now that then and then this is the way she is now i think this may have been at steamboat okay they used to have a yearly race up at steamboat that's i like that oh, i like cool. 36 up front that's really neat man very cool all right mr gray you want to take it for one last ride yeah all right What is the best local place to eat? Or y'all's oh. favorite place? Yeah. Other than Copper Kitchen. Copper Kitchen. Yeah. Um, Village Inn. Copper Billy Kitchen Jean. sounds cool. Yeah, it's a local, it's a locally owned. Mom and Pop. Yeah. Mom and Pop. Yeah, it's, it's okay. yeah, it's Well, I it's think good. we'll do that. If you guys want to join us, meet us there. If not, we can, we can. do that. Sure. We could do that. Well, that'd be great. We'll finish loading and we'll meet y'all at the Copper Kitchen. Okay. Deal? So Here we go. So it's at. Ma'am? Okay. I would like the one biscuit, two eggs, and bacon. I'm going to do pigs with bacon and eggs. I was thinking about that. I'm going to do two eggs over easy. Okay. Hash browns crispy. Okay. And uh, bacon crispy. And an order of pigs in a blanket. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna do one egg with sausage. <laughs> okay. White toast. A side of hash browns. Okay. And what kind of egg and what kind of? Oh, sausage? scrambled. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Think or patty. Patty. Do you want any salsa or anything? No. Thank you. No. Okay. Now I gotta go get your uh, biscuits and gravy. I'm fine. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Huh. Pigs in a blanket, Sean. I'm happy with my. Uh, <laughs> Kids butter. <laughs> you got a kids meal? Exactly. <laughs> I think it's got to be pigs in a blanket for Best Buy. What do you think? <laughs> flapjacks look really good. Okay. Flapjack. That's a pain. Well, whatever. Okay. Oh, crispy bacon. Okay. There it is. Oh, look at that. Tastes as good as it looks. <laughs> Are you jealous? Yes, I am. I should have had pigs in You could have one. It might be a boat. Copper Kitchen, great home cooked meal. Family owned. Pigs in a blanket. Eggs over easy. Bacon. Hash browns. Toast. Good coffee with good people. Y'all have a great day. Thank Here we go too. back to the house. Bonus time. We're on our way back. We're back to Amarillo. We were at Big Tex yesterday. Tried the 72 ounce steak, which we failed. And now we're at the Cadillac Ranch. Let's go check it out. So we're at the world famous Cadillac Ranch. It's amazing how many people visit here. We got Cadillacs that looks like from 1957 up to 1960 shoved in the ground. I got an idea, Sean P. What's that, sir? We have 24 Trans Ams. I see where you're going with this. What should we name it? T 
ATA ranch. And just put them in the ground? Yeah. What do you guys think about that? You want to see that? Comment, let us know. We'll see you later.